Hey Lawn Care Nation, in this video I want to take a look at the Spiker Spreaders Ergo Pro SPY50L Broadcast Spreader. Now uh, Spiker Spreaders was nice enough to send this out for me to uh, take a look at and share with uh, you guys here in Lawn Care Nation. Uh, and I was really excited uh, to know that I'd be uh, receiving a Spiker Spreader. Uh, because when I started my lawn care business 16 years ago, a Spiker Spreader is uh, the type of spreader that I started out with. I had a small uh, stainless steel uh, it looked like a, a five gallon uh, bucket on wheels uh, type spreader and it was uh, just a fantastic little unit and it lasted 10 years in my lawn care business uh, before uh, it started to uh, give me some uh, problems. So I was really excited to see uh, what these uh, newer versions 16 years later uh, look like. Uh, so uh, let's take a closer look at it. So assembling the spiker spreader uh, was very uh, straightforward with the easy to follow instructions. The main unit itself, including the uh, hopper, the main frame, the gear and axles, and uh, the uh, mechanism underneath already came uh, already all pre-assembled. Uh, the only things that uh, were required uh, for me to do to finish assembly was to put on the two tires, uh, the rear stand, and to assemble uh, the handle and uh, operating uh, mechanism. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this uh, spreader. First, a quick glimpse all the way around it. And you can see uh, some of the quality features. It's got some really nice uh, big pneumatic tires on it. It's got a nice uh, cover on top. You can see on the inside, it's got a uh, removable screen uh, so that when you're uh, dumping your material, if there's any clumps and stuff, it'll break up uh, the clumps as it falls in. The other neat thing here you can see right away in the quality is the welded gussets that they have here in the frame to keep the frame uh, nice and rigid so you don't have any flex like you do in cheaper uh, units. The other really neat thing here is you'll see that there's two bolts here. Uh, this one is uh, uh, going through a hole where this one's sort of more in a slotted uh, area. And you can see uh, with the sticker there that the uh, handle is adjustable up and down uh, so that uh, you can adjust it for different uh, sized operators. Uh, so basically this handle will adjust and is uh, ergonomically uh, designed to work with people who are uh, from uh, five foot three inches all the way to six foot uh, six inches in height uh, to reduce fatigue. So if you've got a shorter person, you can uh, loosen those bolts and drop the handle a little bit lower. If you've got a taller person, you can raise the handle a bit taller. The other nice uh, feature here uh, you can see is that there's no cheap cables um, or springs here. You got a really nice, uh, what looks like a quarter inch stainless steel rod there uh, to open and close uh, the discharge uh, chute for the material to come out of. So uh, that's really cool. Very uh, easy to use and uh, opens and closes very easily. So I'll just take the cover off so we can uh, take a look on the inside. It's got this pull tab here so that you can pull the cover off. And you can see uh, the screen there. You can just lift out. And again, we'll go and open and close that hopper. You can see open and close there. So the unit uses this uh, spiker dial, they call it, just a round dial with uh, numbers on it that correspond with uh, how uh, far open uh, this door here uh, to let your material fall through uh, is set to so that you can uh, uh, you know, calibrate how much of the uh, material you want coming through it goes. It's very easy to operate. It's got numbers uh, starting at number one all the way to number nine at the top. And you just line up the number that you want. In this case, uh, it's set at number four, along with this uh, little metal edge here. And that corresponds with how far uh, that chute is open. Uh, so you can see it's very easy uh, to turn the dial in either direction. You just turn it there. And then if we open up uh, the chute, you can see there uh, that it opens up uh, the dial to that corresponding number. Now if I turn the dial by hand, you can see 
the chute open up even more. So that area is on uh, wide open. Now the other neat feature on this particular spreader that I haven't seen on any other uh, spreader is what they call their AccuA system. And if we take a closer look here, there's another little adjustment here. And this actually lets you adjust your spread pattern. Uh, so if you're getting uh, spread uh, happening heavier on the left or the right, you can actually dial in uh, the ac accuracy of your spread and basically fine tune it so that you get a perfectly even uh, spread pattern from left to right. Now, when we turn this all the way, I'll show you what this looks like. So you can see there underneath the hole, it looks like some uh, teeth uh, looking thing. And as I turn that dial, it either moves it in or out of the way uh, of the path. And that uh, helps you uh, dial in that spread pattern from left to right. It basically controls how uh, your fertilizer uh, falls on uh, the impeller blades below. When we come down uh, to the gears of the system, they're uh, fully enclosed metal gears. Uh, they have a lifetime warranty and some grease fittings uh, so that you can uh, grease them up uh, without any contamination uh, getting on uh, in the inside. The other neat uh, uh, design feature of the Spiker Spreader is this bridge-free hopper geometry. So as you can see, uh, it's basically like a big funnel uh, in uh, terms of the design. So instead of having like a big, uh, large basin uh, at the bottom, like some other uh, spreader designs where, uh, you know, as the gravity uh, pulls the material down, you tend to get a bunch of material uh, that no longer siphons uh, towards that uh, material discharge chute. Because of the shape of this being like a large funnel, your material is always, even when you're uh, down below and you have very little material left it's always being funneled down uh, into that material discharge chute the other nice uh, design feature of uh, the spiker spreader is this uh, lift handle here uh, so if you're trying to get this into the back of your truck or anything like that you don't have to lift up uh, from the plastic hopper you've got a nice solid uh, frame surface here uh, that you can lift the unit uh, up uh, into uh, so this unit uh, features a spread pattern of up to 12 feet wide. So that's absolutely uh, enormous and uh, perfect uh, for efficiency in uh, getting the job done uh, quickly and profitably. So all that's left now is to uh, try this unit out. I've got some of this uh, Dolaprill uh, prilled style lime uh, that I need to put uh, on my own yard here. So we'll put that uh, in and uh, give this unit a go. I'm gonna use both the screen and uh, the fertilizer cover uh, as it's some pretty uh, dusty material. And uh, we'll uh, give it a go on the yard and see what it's like. See what that looks there. It's a very tight, snug fitting cover. And there we go. Let's give it a go.
So there you go. Uh, very easy to push. Those large uh, pneumatic tires uh, made it uh, very easy over the lawn. Uh, I've got some uh, lumpy areas and uh, it handled them with ease. I uh, didn't jolt or get stuck on any spots. Um, dispersed the material uh, really evenly uh, as far as I could tell. Not something you'd be able to see on camera, but walking behind it, I could see that it was an even spread uh, happening uh, all the way around. If it hadn't been, uh, then of course we could adjust it uh, with that uh, AccuA system. Uh, but it seems to be uh, doing uh, really well uh, right out of the box there. So now I'm just going to load it up uh, and take it to a client property and uh, put down some uh, moss control uh, on uh, one of my client lawns. So there you have it, Lawn Care Nation, the uh, Spiker Spreader's Ego Pro uh, SPY50L Broadcast Spreader. As you can see, a uh, very well-built unit and uh, should last for many years of service uh, in your lawn care business. So that's it for this one, guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the uh, Spiker Spreader's uh, lineup of uh, broadcast spreaders.